guys, what's happening? Hope everyone had a good weekend. Welcome back to the channel. Um, part five of the EKK 20 turbo build. And I've come here this morning, done a few things in my unit. And um, thought, let me look at a few things. One thing was a catch tank, because I knew it was a bit big and I know I'm gonna struggle to fit it. It's not gonna fit anywhere. Um, simple as we're gonna have to get another one done or, or buy one or make one or something. We're gonna have to sort out another one either way. Number one headache. Number two headache was this. Right. Bear in mind, guys, first case swap. Um, I'll, I'll just show you anyway, because I weren't paying attention. So, you ready for this? It's a bit hard to film and do it at the same time, so just bear with me. Okay. All right. You ready? It's a bit high, I think. I think I've got to shave a bit of the bonnet to get that closed. <laughs> Look at this. Look at the gate. I forgot because obviously the gate's on the top of this manifold. Um, most people who have the case swaps have them on the bottom. And obviously I, I've i heard so many things with boost creep issues and all the rest. So I don't really want it on the bottom, to be honest with you. I just want... Um, so I'll, I'll show you what I'm going to do now anyway. Let me just pull this all back up. Oh, so, yeah, the plan, move this gate to here. Um, I, I think, I might be wrong, but I know obviously gravity and all this, that and the other, whatever, the airflow and, but I think it might flow better where it's at the side. I might have to manipulate the down part a bit, but these are unfortunately problems you run into when building cars, and obviously, especially if you've never built one before, and this is your learning curve, so. <sighs> headache, headache, headache. But yeah, so we, we've got no bonnet to close this, really, which is a bit annoying. And I, I, I don't want to move the gate because when Jesse was mapping, we had no boost creep issues whatsoever. Um, and yeah, it performed really well. So I know the gate's in a good position, and obviously it was mapped in that position. Obviously, if it moves a bit, the tune might need a little tweak. And I know Jesse can do that, it's no problem, but it's just, it's just headaches in it, you know? So nothing, and just maybe you want to move it as well. We are starting to crack, guys. Um, from what I hear, it's not the only one that's cracked. A lot of these crack, um, but I mean, yeah, if it's moved, obviously that will be sorted. So, a bit annoying really, but one of the problems building cars, guys. So, anyway, I'm gonna leave for the time. I'm speaking to a couple of people about getting it. I can't do that myself. I'm not a good enough welder, or I don't TIG well for starters. You can't really MIG that on. You want a proper good good TIG weld on that. Um, and obviously you want it looking nice. It's your manifold, so I'm not gonna whack no MIG on it and ruin it. Um, I'll speak to someone now, I'm going to get it sorted. What I may have to do is get the car up and running and drive with no bonnet to get it done. So, yeah, that's it really. But anyway, I'm going to get, I might just get a little start up in a minute and get it running. Um, just give me a bit more inspiration and motivation, really. All right, guys, I've sort of sorted an issue for the wastegate. I'm going to get someone to weld it in the right place, but. I'm gonna get the car running how it is and drive it to them without a bonnet. So yeah, that's the plan. And then we'll see when it's there, you can take the manifold off, do the wastegate for me as well, get back together and then we'll we'll rosy. Um I'm now about to start. <laughs> I've just decided to give me a bit of motivation, get her running. <laughs> and we'll I'll have a bit more motivation once I've seen her running and that. So this is the first start. I've, not, I've cranked it without the, the coil pack, the coil packs done up, so it gets an oil pressure rain in. Obviously, I've drained everything like oil cooler, oil filter, so everything completely drained. So I've done that a few times for a good minute to get oil pressure around the engine. And obviously, I haven't got an oil pressure gauge in at the moment, so it's, I could hook it up, but it's, it's I have to wire it all in and that. And I'm only getting it started to see how if it starts and all that at the moment. So anyway, enough rambling. Let me see if it starts.
It's like something leaking from somewhere. Now we're gonna have a look. She's alive, guys. She's running. I've got a light on the dash. Obviously, there's a few sensors not plugged in yet as well, so not too worried about that. What the leak was, one of my fuel fittings is dead. Show you. Yeah, this one here is on bone dry return. His feed is pissing out everywhere. So yeah, I'm gonna have to do something about that because yeah, it's really, look at that, look, soaked. So I'm gonna have to sort that fitting out. And it's quite a big leak as well, look. <laughs> you ready? Woo! So yeah, I'm gonna sort that out and then um, I'm gonna drive her and turn her around so that the this is facing the front. Um, so obviously I wanted it up there originally, but I had no one to help me push in. Getting it down there and back up on my own at this old age with my back. And no, I just didn't want to bother. So I've done the work how I did. But um, yeah, I'm going to try and sort that fuel fitting now. But she's alive, man. She's alive. So much motivation when you see the car run. So yeah, so that timing chain tensioner seems to have sorted it. Engine's purring lovely. Um, happy, really. I got lucky that that tensioner didn't wipe the whole engine out because most times when a tensioner gives up, it takes your whole engine out. So a bit of a blessing that that didn't. Uh, and yeah, so I'm going to get the fuel fitting sorted quickly and then we're going to turn it around. All right, guys, I've made space for where the UK is going. It took me a while, had a bit of lunch and that. Now, um, when I park it up where it's going to go, it's going to be taken apart again. You're like, what? Now I'm going to take the manifold off um, and then get the manifold sorted because obviously the wastegate, the bonnet don't close. So <clears throat> I was going to cut an eye on the bonnet, it should be ghetto, but I'm not. Like a couple of people on chat, I'm in, just like, just do it smart, do it neat, don't be silly. Um, talks a bit of sense into me. So I thought, you know what, it's taking this long, come this far, why not? So, uh, yeah, so I'm going to take the manifold off. I'm going to see the exhaust system. I've got to wrap the downpipe in that anyway, so that's not a big deal. Um, and then what I'm going to do after that is, once I've taken the manifold off, I'm going to finish getting the traction bar on. I've got some rear toe arms. I want to get everything underneath the car done, basically, so I don't have to keep getting under the car. Still the back in bad. Um, and then, yeah, and then once that's done, um, I'm going to like, move to the interior, um, fit the fuel pump in, fit, make the seat rails, put the seats in, basically get the whole interior exactly how I want it. That's going to be a fun bit. I'm looking forward to it. It's going to be a lot of work, but I'm looking forward to it. So now I'm going to pull the car out and get some shots as well. Alright guys, sorry for a bit of a boring video. Um, I said not much in this episode. I People may think I'm knocking them out a bit quick, not making much effort. I'm not. I'm just trying to do it like a vlog style so you know where I am, exactly where I am. So you're not missing nothing. If I've not uploaded, I've not done nothing. If I've uploaded, then obviously you've seen what I've done. Um, basically the car sat where it it's gonna stay for the next sort of week, um, maybe even two weeks. And I'm gonna explain now, I'll turn it around camera out for you. Right, so she's sat here. Um, this is gonna be a resting place until all the bits are done. Ali needs welding, I can't weld that at all. Um, that's gonna be done soon. 
And then obviously once that's in, I can get the rad in and get all the coolant in and get all that side of things sorted. Um, got to order a catch tank, a different one, and some lines because I want to sort of run it down there. Uh, that's that's the plan anyway. I'm going to do it the best I can, make it as neat as possible. Gate needs, gate's getting chopped, so I've got to take all this money off. Gate's getting chopped, it's getting removed from there to the side. And then that's going to be sorted there. Um, and then I'm going to be moving on to this in here, guys. So, and I'll tell you one thing, right? When I was changing into gears, I thought that, that what, like the car won't even start, obviously. Changing, I was thinking, why ain't that going in? It don't feel right. And you know what? It was that smooth. They were in gears perfect. I can't believe how good that is shifting in gears. I'm absolutely over the moon with that shift on the way this is set up. It's shifting like a dream. Honestly, absolute dream. There's no crap. It's the smoothest gears I've ever felt in my life. Did not expect that at all. Thought there was going to be a few problems. But as you can see, yeah, interior's got to be cleaned up. Uh, fuel pump's got to be fitted. Methanol, gauges, blah, blah, blah. So, and then the seats have got to... I've got to put them seats in. I've got to make the rails from yet. So there's still work to do, guys. You know that. And I'm not going to slack. I'm going to get it done. Because um, I'm really excited now. Driving that today. She drove nice as well. I only drove it sort of outside and that. And up and down. But yeah, she was not like... She drove like flawless, really. So... Um, and then once all that's done, obviously I get the niggly bits done. I'll speak to a couple of my mates uh, who know the ins and outs. And sort of back getting the temperature gauge sorted on there, the fan switch and so on. So, yeah. So guys, it's exciting times as you can see. Um, I'm absolutely buzzing. I can't even explain how buzzing I am. So, uh, yeah. It's the way she drove out as well and the way she drove down. It's so smooth. There's no... It drive better than the, the EP3 already. Honestly, it just feels like a different... Oh, I just love the driving position. If anyone's building a K-series and whatever, well, it's, it's obviously preference and opinion, but I just can't beat an EK shell for it, or EJ9, whatever you want to call it. Same shell, same sh shape, obviously. Love it. So the driving position is amazing. Um, yeah, so as I said, things are getting on now. And the build is coming. Well, I say to an end, it isn't. I've got other things for you guys. I'm just waiting for a couple of parts to arrive. Um, and that's going to be taking place over the next few months. Meanwhile, anyone out there, anyone want to sponsor the car and paint it and sponsor the car for a cage, let me know. Because I'm not talking, oh, for free. I'm talking, do a deal on it. Let me know. Because drop me a message. I'll get your name out there. I'll have your sticker on the car of all the events I go to, everything. Like, I just, I want to get the car painted. I want to get the car looking fresh. Um, and I'm not the man to do it. I ain't going to lie. I could do it and it will probably mess up. Um, and I don't want to do that, you know. I want someone to paint it properly, a proper professional painter, to get a colour on it. I want it the same sort of colour red, um, maybe candy red or something like that. Um, if anyone can sort out a deal, anyone wants to help me out, share this video, get tagging, get all the people you know. I want a proper place to do it though. I don't want no like Tom in his garage and I don't want his driveway. I want it properly done. So if anyone can do that for me, I'd really appreciate it. I said also the cage. Um, I've got a couple of like guys on um, Instagram who are interested in doing a cage for me. Um, um, Fab is one of them. I think there's another company as well. Another two companies I can't remember. Um, we're going to sort out a deal with that. But I do want to get the car painted. The outside, obviously. I'm not worried about the bay or the inside. I want the outside. Just all the body work, all the dents gone. All the paint work done in the next coming months. So if anyone does know anyone who might be interested in helping sponsor the build, let me know tag away share it away all the help i need i appreciate it off anyone thanks so um yeah basically that's it um anyway i'm gonna wrap this video up there as you can see the content is gonna be coming good now because a lot of the crap stuff is out of the way and now nah, record within two weeks we're gonna have some good driving videos <clears throat> so like subscribe share guys thank you for the continued support subscribers are going up nicely i appreciate you all um, I've got new t-shirts coming as well, new stickers. I have a look on my Facebook page. Website's still not going. I'm slacking on that, I'm not going to lie, guys. I'm not a computer, computer genius. So I will get there one day. I'm just not happy with it. I'm a bit picky, so 
when I'm happy with it, it'll be done. But I said, help me out, see if anyone wants to sponsor the build. Obviously, I'm not looking free. I'll pay, but I just want a big discount if I can, because I can get someone's name out there, and obviously this car's going to be doing some things this year, hopefully. Well, when the year sorts itself out. See you soon.